Hi, my name is Mitch. I am not a certified mechanic, but today I'm going to show you how to replace a front left brake lever on a Buddy 170i. Okay, here's what a lot of people are waiting for. Uh, here's how you replace a left hand brake. Uh, this tipped over in the wind when I didn't put the full stand up, just the kickstand like the bicycle stand. It blew over and it's broke. So now I'm going to do a little film because I haven't been able to find any online how to repair a, a buddy left hand brake lever. Okay, first I undid the back and I'll show you that in a second. Alright, the first thing you're going to need to do is twist off this nut, but mark it with a permanent marker where it is so you can line it up close to where you're using it. You're going to use needle nose pliers also when you put it back on, uh, wrenches and okay, socket. Okay. Eight millimeter, an 8 millimeter uh, wrench and I unbolted it and I took a screwdriver and I pulled this bolt out here. There's a little rubber you have to pull back and it's a little tricky because of the, I didn't want to take off the, the flaring because the, it's kind of stripped these under here so I was kind of a pain in the neck and just kind of ease it out and that'll come out right like that then you okay now I've got this unscrewed and you'll see this little pin here and you kind of have to gently kind of force this out and it is a little tight kind of use a little leverage but not too much and I hope I can show you this good enough on there and there it popped out okay now you want to take this back and pop it in. Kind of line it up here. I hope this is showing good. This might be blocking. Here we go. And line it up here and slide that right in like that. Make sure that you pop it in good and that goes in like that. Now we'll line this back up with the screw. Here it is right here. And put this back so you're kind of the screw in line here. This is a little tricky here. And you have to line it up just right. So I'm going to probably try to have my screwdriver. Run this down here. It is doing a little bit of damage to my paint there, but like I said, these strips seem to be uh, kind of stripped a little bit. So I'm trying to show you how to do this without taking the flaring off. All right, there that is. Now let's go back to the eight. I mean the the bolt. This is the eight millimeter bolt. You can see I kind of put it on here. Then I'll go get my uh, wrench. Okay, I got my wrench, my 8mm wrench. Now I'll just kind of tighten this back on. A socket will work too if you have a little socket. Okay, got this pretty tight now. Now I'm going to go back to the back and get the last bolt. Okay, well, here is the hardest part that everyone gripes about. It's getting the spring. This slides back and forth and slips out this little bit here. You just play with it and then try to get it as close as you can to the mark that you put on there and what doesn't wear off. Okay, now I'm getting to my reference points. It's really hard to see on the film where I did it with the permanent marker, but I'm getting really close to that that point. Where I marked it. So I'll start adjusting my brakes and feeling. Well, the replacement went well with the brake lever on my left side. Now I'm riding my Buddy 170i. Room, room. Hey, if you want more tips on Buddy scooters and other scooters and other events, look us up on our broadcasting channel on YouTube. It's O C D O V E S O C Doves.